Okay, next subtraction naman tayo. So, 5x plus 4 minus the quantity 7x plus 2. Tandaan niyo pa lagi kapag nagsusubtra kayo, itong negative sign na to is for this whole quantity. So, ang gagawin mo dyan, i-distribute mo ito sa each terms. Okay? So, 5x plus 4. So, negative times positive is negative. So, negative 7x. So, negative times positive is negative. So, negative 2. Okay? Then, combine like terms ulit. So, set different sign ito. So, that is negative 2x. Okay? So, 4 minus 2 is just 2. So, the answer here is negative 2x plus 2. Okay? What about this one? Ay, nagdapat na siya. Ay, wala na. Okay. So, paano naman pag magmumultiply tayo? So, x plus 3 times x plus 5. Okay? So, pag nagmumultiply po kayo ng ganyan, ng binomials to a binomial, so, gagamitan po natin siya ng FOIL method. Actually, meron siya talagang form para may solve. Pero mas madali yung FOIL method. So, ano ba yung FOIL method? So, si, for, for, sorry, si F po is the first term. Si outer is the outer terms, inner terms, and last terms. So, ano ba siya dito? So, yung first terms natin, itong dalawa, yung nasa kundahan, of course. So, x times x is x squared. Okay? So, for the rules of exponent, para lang sa lalo pa siya may tindihan, meron pa mong separate na linja para ito. Okay? So, kapag nag-add, nag-multiply po tayo ng variables with exponents, so x times, so represent natin si top multiplication by top. So, meron tayong 1 dyan na invisible. Ang gagawin mo dyan, i-add mo lang. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. That's it. Okay? Next. So, ano yung outer terms? So, si x at si 5, yung pinakalabas na terms. So, 5 times x is 5x. Inner terms si 3 and x, so positive 3x. Last term si 3 and 5, so 3 times 5 is 15. Can we still simplify this? Yes, kasi meron ka pa same terms. So, x squared plus 8x plus 15 is the answer for this. Okay, next. Oh, paano naman po ito? Binomial to a trinomial. So, 7x, quantity 7x plus 3, times quantity 4x squared minus 5 plus 6. Okay? So, ang gagawin nyo lang po, yung each term sa expression na ito ay i-distribute nyo sa whole expression na ito. Okay? Or vice versa. So, pwede, ito yung substitute nyo, ay distribute nyo dito, or ito yung distribute nyo dito. So, pakita ko siya kung paano. So, 7x times 4x squared minus 5 plus 6. So, saan galing sa 7x? Dito siya galing. Okay? So, how about this one? So, plus 3 times the quantity 4x squared minus 5 plus 6. Okay. So, that's it. Yan yung sinasabi ng pag-distribute natin. So, 7x times 4x squared. So, that is 28. So, again, kapag nag-multiply ka pa ng variables, just add the exponent. So, may 1 ka dyan. 1 plus 2 is 3. So, 28x cubed. Okay? Next. So, 7x times negative 5, that is negative 35x. Okay, 7x times 6, so that is positive 42x. Okay, be careful. Okay, next, plus 3 times 4x squared, that is 12x squared. 3 times negative 5, negative 15. 3 times 6 is 18. Okay? Now, let's combine like terms. Si x cubed ba dito may kasparesya? Wala. So, 28 x cubed. 
So, tanggalin na natin para hindi po kayo malito. Si x ba na yung terms? Meron? Yes. Si negative 35 plus 42. So, subtract lang natin yung sa 35 minus 42. So, that is, so this becomes 12, this becomes 3. So, 12 minus, okay, so that is 7. Okay. Hindi na double check ko lang. Okay, so plus 7x. So, sign of the bigger number. Plus, so si 12x squared ba may kapareha? So, wala. So, just copy. Okay. Next. Si 18, ito. Itong constants natin na nagkira. Si negative 15 plus 18. So, just subtract. Copy the sign of the bigger number. So, plus 3. So, let's just arrange this yung mas maayos. Kailangan consecutive yung ating mga uh, terms o yung mga degrees ng terms. So, 28x cubed plus 12x squared plus 7x plus 3. So, this is the answer for this equation. Okay. Next. Medyo mahaba siya, pero kailangan natin ang malaking pang practice para dito. Okay. So, problem solving naman tayo. Okay. So, the area of rectangle gar rectangular garden is x squared plus 2x minus 35 square feet. So, if the length is x plus 7 feet, find the width. Okay. Tanda na natin yung formula for the area of the rectangle is area is equal to length times width. But since inahalap natin si width, Sige, so natin yung formula para doon. So, divide natin si length, both sides. Okay, cancel. So, formula for width, it is equal to area over length. Okay. So, ang ating area, so width is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 35. over x plus 7. Okay. So, ang gagawin naman natin dito is division of polynomials. So, paano po ba yung ginagawa? Actually, pwede nyo siyang i-factor. Pero paano kapag hindi ka mag mag-factor? Mas madali po yung division. Kasi si division of polynomials is just the same sa pag-divide ng mga whole numbers. Okay? Or yung mga numbers. So, ito natin divisor. x plus 7. Okay, sorry, kamay ko pinang-i-erase ko. Anyway, so x squared minus 2x minus plus 2x minus 35. So, first step, of course, divide. Sulat niya yan. Divide. So, x squared divided by x. So, paano po ba yun? x squared divided by x. Pag nag-divide naman po kayo yun ng variables, katulad kanina, ang ginagawa natin nag-aad tayo pag nag-multiply. Pag nag-divide po, so subtract mo yan. So, 2 minus 1. Subtract mo exponent. So, 2 minus 1 is just 1. So, x. Okay? Next. Step multiply. So, x times x is x squared x times 7 is positive 7x. Okay? Then, subtract. Okay? So, tandaan nyo lang po ulit, itong negative sign nito is for the whole term. So, x squared minus x squared is 0. X, uh, 2x minus 7x is negative 5x. Okay. Next, bring down so, bring down at negative 35. Next, divide ulit. Balik sa office, ha? So, negative 5x plus, I mean, divided by x is negative 5. Okay, bakit? So, negative 5x over x. So, that's it ito. So, the main is negative 5. Okay, negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Negative 35. So, itong whole term ay may negative. So, kapag inambay mo ito, I mean, dinisipin ko si negative sa each terms, this becomes positive. So, both of these becomes zero. So, negative 35 plus 35 is just zero. So, the answer here is x minus 
5. Okay? Since sa concept ng pag-multiply ng pag-divide ng numbers, kailangan kapag dinivide mo itong quotient kay divisor, ang sasagot, ang sagot mo dyan dapat ay ito. Okay? Actually, may other third uh, way pa yan. Yung pag-factor. So, paano ba gagawin yung pag-factor ito? So, x minus 5, x plus 7. Okay? So, gawan ko pa kayong video na separate para sa pag-factor. Okay? Para mas mabilis ito. So, divide ito. So, WRB, so, e is equal to x minus 5. So, answer is letter. Ay, wala pa ng letter. Okay, anyway. So, next question, number 28. So, discuss natin yung another way ng pag-divide na polynomials, which is what we call the syntax.